Hey Sexy, welcome back to the channel. Now, I could not do a bathhouse review playlist on my channel without, of course, breaking down my hometown tub, Steamworks Toronto. For those of you who don't know, Steamworks is a chain with locations in Toronto, Chicago, Vancouver, <laughs> Seattle, and Berkeley. But we're gonna look at the Toronto location, what they did right, what needs improving, how are the men, and how does the place score overall. All of that, plus my hot tips, coming up. And let me know down in the comments, have you ever been to any of the Steamworks locations, especially the Toronto one, and how was your experience? And if you want to hear some salacious personal stories from my time at Steamworks, you can find my OnlyFans link in the description below. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Steamworks used to be the spa on Maitland. And the spa on Maitland is the bathhouse that I used to work at here in Toronto. So it was, it's the same location, but when you go inside, it's completely changed, completely renovated. The location could not be better. It's in the very heart and soul of the gay village in Toronto. It's on Church Street, just south of Wellesley. It's super easy to get to, whether you are walking or biking or taking a subway, because Wellesley Station is like two seconds away. It's open 24-7, 365 days a year, the pandemic notwithstanding. The entrance is in an alleyway just off of Church Street, and it's kind of private because at least you're not right on Church Street. There is actually parking under the building as well, and then you can just go from the parking straight up to Steamworks. Okay, let's talk about the price of admission because that's super important. Price-wise, during the weekday, a locker is eight $18, weekend it's $22, and then the rooms go from $31 all the way up to $60. And then on the weekend, the rooms are $36 to $65. So not cheap. There are also special rates for there's the gym rat pack, there's student discounts, there's frequent fucker rewards. <laughs> If it's your birthday, you get a locker for free. Now remember my hot tip, do not bring valuables to the bathhouse. However, in this case, Steamworks have lock boxes that are behind the cashier. Now the cashier is gonna give you a towel, a key, and a remote control. So everything is really wiped down and sanitized, especially these days, but hot tip, bring hand sanitizer because it's still a bathhouse, I mean, <laughs> right? Okay, let's talk about the staff. Generally speaking, the staff are professional at Steamworks, which is great because that's what you want. But I will say, having come off the review of doing the sauna cruising in Medellin, if I was gonna compare the staff there versus the staff here, I would say the staff there was more friendly. They were more accommodating. There was more smiles going on. Okay, so. let's look at the lay of the land. <laughs> Everything in Steamworks is on one floor. When you first walk in, you see the lockers just to the left of you. Now the locker area is well lit, which is what you want. It's not too bright that you're like, ah, I see everybody's everything. The lockers are clean. They're a good size, really at this like crossroads of the whole bathhouse, which I think is really good because when you first get there, you don't know who's there. You're curious about who's there and standing at your locker undressing, you can really see a lot of people coming in. It's like Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> it's busy. And the gym is right next to the locker area. If you want to use the gym, this would be the gym to use. There's a door also that leads out to a, in a little outdoor patio space, tiny space, but if you need to smoke, right? Which is funny that the smoking area is next to the gym, but it's a bathhouse, so what do you want? And a huge shout out to my newest patrons, Donald and Ryan. Patrons of my channel, of course, get lots of perks. You can find everything at patrickmorano.com. Okay, if you've been watching my bathhouse Betty playlist, you know that I always suggest that you get a room when you go to the bathhouse. So let's talk about the rooms at Steamworks. There are different types of rooms, different sizes of rooms. There's a lot of hallways and corridors. Hallways and corridors are the same thing, right? <laughs> you can have a room more to the front of the whole space. In that case, it's more lit in that area and more high traffic, I would say, people coming and going. Or you can get a room in more in the back where it's a lot darker, a lot less traffic. Whatever your personal preference is, hot tip. You can ask at the front desk and they'll bring out the little map and you can actually choose the room you want, if it's available, of course. 
you can request a room number as long as it's in the room type and price range that you're willing to pay for. There's obviously the typical room where you open and the door is just like sliding beside the bed. There's hardly enough room to open the door. There's the, be the bed uh, with the mattress and the pillow. Rooms have a TV up there, five stations playing porn. So you have your remote control. Under the bed, you have a little lock drawer that pulls out from under the bed and then you can store everything and it all tucks underneath your bed. So that's like a basic room, but the rooms get bigger and more complicated. Some have a sling in them. It just depends on, of course, what you're looking for. Do you need the sling? How much space do you need? And how much money are you willing to spend? Okay, let's move on to the wet areas. There's a couple of wet areas. The first one is more in the front. It's the main one and it's the one by the locker. The showers there are glassed. So you can shower and glass. You're looking down into the people that are all in the lockers. And then in the back, there's two jacuzzi hot tubs. There's a little one off to one side and then there's a big one in the back. These are so well located because if you want to cruise, you can just sit in the hot tub and just be like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying a nice hot tub, minding my own business. And you're just watching everyone come and go. Also in that wet area, there is the wet sauna. Now the wet sauna is pretty dark and really sweaty. There's been a few times, maybe, when I've been in there, I have to check my OnlyFans to know the truth, and it's just been too hot. So you can only stay in there for so long, especially if you're playing. Dry sauna is just across from the wet sauna. It's never really been that warm in there. Um, you're kind of just sitting in a room on a bench. Okay, there's also a wet area in the back of Steamworks. So if you are in the back and you don't wanna come all the way to the front, the back is always gonna be a little bit darker uh, with less traffic. It's all glass, so people can see in, you can see out. There are three dark areas at Steamworks Toronto. Three to choose from. Okay, let's start at the front. When you go in there, this is the biggest one, and this one has the most options of things to do. In terms of the lighting level in there, it's pretty good because it actually has screens and they're playing porn. So it's, you've got the ambient light from the screen. There's booths. Um, like private booths, doors, you walk in, it's standing room only. <laughs> it's made for like one or two people. You go in there, you close the door, it has a little latch, and then there's glory holes between the booths. <laughs> Just after that, there's another like little room that's open-ish and it has like a fuck bench just sitting there. Usually there's somebody lying on it face up or face down and there's a few people in that room. Uh, and then there's another big room right next to it where people are kind of mingling around. There's glory holes at eye level and these people are standing. But Patrick, how are people sticking their dicks through the holes when the people are standing and it's at eye level? It's because there are stairs on either side that go up and then there's like a platform. So people are walking back and forth on this platform and then sticking through these holes that are at eye level at the people that are standing below. Okay, for the second dark room, it's located in the middle of Steamworks. So there's really, there's like one in the back, one in the middle and one at the front, which is great. They spaced everything out. <laughs> no matter where you are, you can find a dark room. This one is about the same darkness as the front one. There's two rooms on either side. One is kind of open and there's like a little fuck bench in it. The other side has a door that you can close. In the middle of the room is the sling. That's the sling room. It's open on both sides. Anybody who's walking through, you can walk around the room like this. The sling is right in the middle. Now the third dark room is the one in the back. This one is the smallest of the three and the darkest. It is pitch black in there. So you can follow somebody in, you know, or you can just throw yourself in there and enjoy yourself if that's what you want. There's little benches for you to sit. A couple rooms I think have doors and stuff, but again, it's pitch. Okay, a very important amenity at bathhouses for me is the bathrooms. The bathrooms for me speak to the rest of the place. The main, main, main one is the one in the backish area. So remember there's showers in the back. The bathrooms are next to the showers in the back. In fact, there's a trough where people are peeing and the glass looks into the shower and the people showering can see the people peeing in the trough. In front of the trough are like three or four stalls. The stalls have douching stations uh, and then there's two sinks on either side. Hot tip, wear flip-flops. And I've said this before, but it just popped in my mind again because I know that the floors there, I've gone into these stalls 
and then the floors are wet because people are douching, etc. So wear flip-flops. Now the other bathroom is all the way at the front. Like when you first walk in, you can go up some stairs and there's like a little bathroom. There's like a sink and a stall. Okay, here is another hot tip for Steamworks Toronto. Make sure to bring cash, okay? Because there are vending machines and actually the vending machines have good stuff in them. <laughs> like they've got Gatorade, drinks, snacks, and lots of sex things too. Like you can even buy like a douching tube. Like if you come unprepared, they only take cash. So make sure to bring some cash. Let's talk about some of the unique aspects of Steamworks Toronto that I personally super appreciate. Number one, the live DJ. He's not there all the time at all hours, but there's a live person playing music. Usually he's topless and just being all bathhousey, but it's fun. I think it's a nice thing to have. It adds to the ambiance. And the DJ is right in the video room. So again, you can enter on both sides. You can walk around. There's a bench going lining all the way around and then there's screens, tons of screens and they're all playing like different porn. So you can sit there, watch the porn and it's kind of communal. People sit down, they chat, they start playing with each other. It's a good place also to sit and just watch people go by because it's very transient. People are moving from one side to the other side. Second unique thing that they have is a computer station in the very back. Okay, granted, <laughs> there's only one computer. If you wanted to hop on the computer and get on one of the sex sites and chat with people and say, hey, I'm at Steamworks. I guess you could do that on your phone. But anyway, there's a computer in the back. The other unique thing that they have that I super appreciate is a little booth near the front, near the lockers and the gym in the front. Um, and again, he's not always there at certain hours, but they have a representative from the AIDS Committee of Toronto who's there to answer any questions you might have. So there's condoms, there's lube. Another super cute thing that they have uh, at the back, near the back showers, is a water fountain, but it has mouthwash. <laughs> it's so cool. Like the first time I used it, I was like, what the fuck? Let's talk about the men at Steamworks. The men at Steamworks are super all over the board. Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities on the planet and the clientele at Steamworks reflects the population of Toronto, also the tourism. We get lots of tourism, especially in the summer, and everybody goes to Steamworks. You've got young, all the way up to old. You've got every body type. You've got every ethnicity you could want or ask for. So it's really a pick and mix of men. It's just a matter of finding who you want. Okay, so we've gone through the lay of the land. So let's break down the pros and cons. For me, the pros are the maze areas, especially the one in the front. It's so big. It has everything that you need. Um, and the fact that there's three of them, they all offer different things, so it's very versatile. The gym, I don't use it, but I'm gonna say it's a pro because it's got everything you need, everything a gym rat would want. The details, like the mouthwash in the water fountain, the guy from the AIDS Committee of Toronto, the DJ, those are the little things that really elevate this place and make it a better bathhouse. And then of course, the stalls in the bathroom with the douching stations is a pro for sure. Now, some of the cons, I would say one of the cons is that it's not cheap. So it's in Canadian dollars. For me, it's not cheap. I mean, it's not out of reach, but if you go often, um, it can add up, right? Also the fact that it's just on one floor. I wish that there were two floors or it was just bigger. This is not something that Steamworks can do anything about. And the other thing I will say, and it's only like a half con because half the time people are super nice and super friendly, but I will say that maybe more smiles and more accommodation from more welcoming faces uh, at the front. So as you can see, the cons are pretty minimal and Steamworks Toronto honestly is a super amazing bathhouse to visit. If you ever come to Toronto, there's something and someone for everyone, especially during weekends, holidays, and gay pride. It's a professional place, it's sexy looking, with pretty much any amenity that you could want. So I'm gonna give Steamworks Toronto 4.5 eggplants out of five. And if you liked this video, you're gonna love this one right here. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah!